It's also important to handle what happens if a user lands on the wrong part of our app or a page which doesn't exist. So for example, if we just added anything onto the end of this, this account is fine because we have a section inside of our router file which handles any variable piece of information just after our account. But if we replace the full section with something random, we don't see any content rendered in our router view. For this, we can set up a general catch all component, such as a 404 page, which will display if no other routes are a match. So for this, let's go over to our components and create a new file called notfound.view. And then a simple template inside of here is fine with the heading of page not found. Okay, to use this over in our router, we need to import this at the very top of the file. Let's import, not found. This is in dot dot slash components, not found dot view. And then at the end of our router array, I'm going to create a new object to handle this. So set this up just like the object above. We must set up a path as we always do, but we'll come back to this in just a moment. We'll add a name of not found. And then we'll render our component. So if you've used the router for view two in the past, we used to be able to catch all other routes which aren't matched above by simply adding a star. But now using view version three and the view router four, we need to instead use a custom parameter. And we do this just like the dynamic segments we added just above. So instead of the star, we'll add a forward slash and then a dynamic segment, which will capture in the variable called path name. And this name of path name can be anything which you choose. The difference between view router two and three is also that we now need to add a regular expression, which is the dot star. And this will match any given route name. So now if we type in any URL which is not recognized by any other routes, we'll see our page not found. Let's try one more. This is fine. Click on our recognize links and it still renders the correct components. If we wanted to, we could also access any one of these params which is entered, such as this string of text. And we can do this inside the not found component. Just like we've previously looked at, we can access the dollar symbol route dot params and we have access to our path name which is the same name which we gave inside the router but what about if we had multiple segments so if the user entered something like this we can see the param is still output inside of the template however the router displays this as a string of text rather than two separate parameters if we wanted to break them up into multiple values to have access to them such as this section and also this section, we can instead create an array of params. To set this up, jump back into our router. We add an additional star at the end of the path. Now, if we save and go back, rather than having a string of parameters like we had before, we now have an array containing two separate values. And this now gives us the option to use these parameters individually if we needed to. Also, the view router is really flexible. We don't just have to have one single page not found. We could have different 404 pages for different incorrect segments. So for example, if this was forward slash admin and the last segment was incorrect, we maybe want to show a different 404 page for any admin related errors. And the way to do this is to go back over to our router. Let's duplicate this last section, paste it above. We could then select the path of forward slash admin. And then any unrecognized section which is added afterwards will be stored in this parameter called path name. Or you could also rename this to be more descriptive if you wanted to. But the idea here is simply the path name will only store this segment rather than the full URL which we had before. We could then customize our not found page to suit this exact route. So let's just remove this example from before. Go into not found. We'll add this inside of the P element and we'll say no admin page found for. And then we can output our dynamic section. We'll say dollar symbol route. And then we can access the path property, which we're currently on. 
hit enter. And there's our error message down at the bottom. So this is an example of how we can create one single 404 page not found component, or we can also be more specific and tailor these messages to suit our particular route.